video I would like to show you on how to create a company using the Swarhana 1909 so this is like a, a creating a entirely a new company code and this is not any migration here we are doing yeah so go to SPRO click OK then reference IMG enterprise texture definition financial accounting define company so here I just create a, my company is TR00 like training company the language is English the country I put DE which is uh, Germany and the currency is Euro and city Frankfurt so click on save so you have created a company now after creating the company so we are creating some organizational elements uh, which is the company code so you click on company code edit company and click on new entries I create TR01 is already there so I use uh, TR10 as my company company 1 and uh, this will be my USD yeah so the language is English as well so the country is US yeah so yeah you can put New York yeah this uh, famous everybody knows New York click OK so it asks for the address so just I put company and uh, this is a running company now click here US so you can enter other details address information everything if you need it yeah so in this case I don't need those information so and it asks for the transport so we just use the same transport uh, what so now click uh, copy I'm going to copy and save to and this in this time I'm creating as a D which is a Germany yeah so its a currency is a euro and uh, this is my Frankfurt yeah. Frankfurt and click OK click OK yeah sorry I need to change our company code which is 20 yeah okay click OK so it's everything is copied so I just change this to D and uh, this is my training company is to okay click OK so now you click on save huh? so the transport it will be saved to the same old one what I saved my previous uh, accidentally I saved to the other sticker okay so so the business area so in the case of business area so let me see whether we have a TRB so we don't have it so I am going to create my own business area TRB1 which is uh, the business area 1 and TRB2 area 2 so you can create your own business areas for internal reporting purpose so these business areas will be created so now you click on save so I am going to create my own in this time so uh, company click OK and uh, click on OK so now yeah the functional areas uh, we are not covering here so I'm going to create a 
the segment for a segment reporting yeah so now I'm going to create uh, T or S1 it's a uh, segment 1 TRS to segment 2 so I just only created two segments which is can be used across the companies and even business areas also can be used across the companies so I'm not uh, creating any profit center at this moment because we need to create another organizational elements uh, for this so now I'm going to um, we have created a company uh, and, 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 and the financial accounting so now we need to assign the company to company code to company yeah so this is the one so here I just go my TR10 TR00 is my company I'm assigning Yeah, click OK. Enter. Save it. Sometimes system issues the warning messages, so you can ignore those warning messages and uh, proceed with your. And uh, here, the assign the profit center to company. And uh, since we are not created any controlling area, so go to the SPRO. So now we need to create a variance. So what is the variant? Physical year variant and posting period variant. So all these are under financial accounting and field status variant. So these creating go to the fields and uh, the field status variant. Click OK. So the someone is accessing at this moment. And uh, so what I do for creating the field status uh, variant and uh, we need to assign it so to create a click on the field status variant it's still accessing So someone is accessing and uh, let me just quickly okay now to create the field status variant click on the field status variant and I'm going to copy the existing one which is there here so click copy and TR um, zero zero is my field status which is for entity tr zero zero so this is the one is i'm not going to use uh, for all my existing entities yeah so click ok so go back and then assign the field status variant to the company codes so my company codes are tr starting with the so TR00 is my field status variant. So I am assigning the same field status variant across my two company codes. So you can use uh, one um, field status variant. No need to be for each company. It depends on your, you know, uh, the, the local, uh, what you call uh, the company requirements when you are taking the business scenarios okay so now we have created and now let's go to the physical year and posting periods so the physical year variant we already use in most of the cases will be k4 which is um, is a standard So for the calendar year, so the, for the calendar year, so you can see the periods and uh, it will be defaultly maintained for, for in this case of uh, physical year variance. So we don't need to create the physical year variant unless uh, if there is any special requirement regarding uh, uh, your local um, requirements or, or uh, you know, company requirements. 
So here, the, so the physically variant, so assign a company code to a physical air variant. So in this case, we are going to use the same physical air variant across the company codes. So I'm going to use only K4, which is my standard across all my company. So now you click on save. So go back now posting period variant so we need to define the posting period variant this posting period variant you must create for each company yeah? so in this case uh, posting period variant we are creating trp1 which is a posting period variant for training company one so TRP2, which is a and two here. So usually you can create as a posting period variant also same as a company code, and uh, that will uh, really uh, make sense when the users are actually opening and closing. Uh, posting periods so so I'm going to assign the same uh, for the posting period variants so here tr10 so for this is tr10 and another one is tr20 so I have assigned these to to my company code So we have done the minimum basic settings. So now we are going into uh, uh, the controlling basic settings. And then, uh, or you want to go to the ledger also. Yes, we can define the ledger and currency types now. Yeah, so let's go to the ledger. and click OK and or D by default we need to define the leading ledger for the company code so I'm going to include the leading ledger across all my company codes which is a TR 10 and 20 by default it's already here yeah so if you want to define any additional currencies Yes, we can define and all other currencies also available here. So now um, let's see is there any accounting principles are assigned. At this moment, uh, there is no accounting principles are assigned here. So now I go back. So now let's say I want to have another parallel ledger. So in this case of uh, 2L uh, is a different parallel ledger I want to take. So then uh, I can go to the company code, click OK. So let me check my company code is not here. So what happens when you have a leading ledger, the system automatically assign your company code to the leading ledger, but not to the non-leading ledger. Yeah. So in this case, you need to assign your company code if it is needed. TR10. And the physical air variant can be different here. So uh, I, I, I use the same physical air variant and uh, K4. So the posting period variant also TR10. Click OK. So you can see now. So if you want to expand and see more details uh, how the exchange rates is deriving, uh, the system will automatically show here. So if you want to add any additional currencies, yes, you can add it. But uh, in this case, we don't have any additional. 
So our functional currency is actually used for the reporting is a company code currency. Yeah. So parallel accounting using GL accounts. So this will be explained later and uh, click OK. Some companies use GL accounting, uh, the, the general ledger accounts for parallel ledger accounting. So in this case, uh, we need to check this box. Click OK. So then we need to do the another company code, which is TR20. So for doing TR20, I don't do all these steps. I just, uh, oh yeah, we don't have a coffee button. So again, new entries, click OK, TR20. And, uh, K4. Posting period where in TR20. And my functional currency is always 10. Click OK. And then click on Save. The source currency is the original currency when you are posting and the documents. Now the system has saved our company code settings. Okay, so now go back. Okay. So let's say you want to create a different ledger group. So currently the 0L, if you see the 0L is assigned to the 0L. So now you have a, a 2L is assigned to the 2L ledger group. So this is a reporting ledger. So we have this ledger. So like this, you can have your own local ledger groups. So currently I'm not creating any local ledger groups. And click back. So here to maintain the calendar. So we have done this part, which is for the physical year and parallel valuation approach. So here you can maintain the currency valuation approaches. Yeah. So uh, this is usually the company code. If you see, and the company code is, is zero here and uh, number 10 which is a group currency another group currency profit center valuation and a group valuation so the different valuation views uh, for a profile we are using yeah. assign the controlling area so currently we don't have any controlling area yeah you can see so now we need to create a controlling area so we have done the basic settings for the financial accounting now you are going to the controlling basic settings yeah so you go to the controlling organization maintain controlling area and uh, double click on maintain controlling area so usually you can copy the controlling area or uh, you can create your own controlling area but in my case i'm going to create tr001 controlling area Training company CO. Okay, so here, so I should say cross company code. So this will be used. The currency type is actually we need to set the currency type. So you want to use a controlling area currency or the group currency or our company code currency. So here since it's a it's a controlling area then i would recommend to use a controlling area currency here as a, sorry so i should go for the group currency because i don't have any specific currency for a, my controlling area is euro 
and the chart of accounts. So, in the case of chart of accounts, yes, we have not defined, sorry about that. So, we need to come back uh, to our chart of accounts because in the financial accounting, the basic step is the chart of accounts. So, when you go to the financial uh, accounting and uh, general ledger, master data, GL accounts, preparation, and uh, edit chart of accounts. So here is where you are creating a chart of accounts. So TR00. So I should say COA for training company. So my language is always EN. English. The length, uh, I should say 10 and uh, currently I don't have any group chart of accounts so I don't use this so now you click on save uh, chart of account is saved and assign uh, company code to a chart of account so someone is using so I okay to assign the chart of accounts to company code click on the chart of accounts so to go to the company code of yours and assign the chart of accounts tr00 is my chart of accounts and TR00 is my chart of accounts. So chart of accounts across the company, so it has to be at the um, total higher level uh, regarding the consolidation or, or um, the, the, usually the companies always use one chart for uh, all the entities, yeah? So, in this case, we are using same physical year variant K4, standard hierarchy, cost center standard hierarchy. You need to maintain the cost center standard hierarchy. I should say TR00. Underscore CC. H. Cost center hierarchy for a CCH, oh, yeah, so for uh, and click OK. Currency euro does not match with the currency type. Um, maybe this should be 20. Yes, click OK. So I use the controlling area because. Uh, does not match yeah click ok so again uh, click ok the system put the message so now go back so the basic settings is finished so but we need to assign activate the company code from which year? So I should say 2000. Okay, 10. So cost center should be active, component order management should be active, and also commitment management is active. So I should say sales order with commitment, cost center object. You want to activate all any of these and even variances also you can activate if you have want to have a uh, different hierarchies and uh, it still can be maintained so critical click OK so we have activated uh, some objects uh, within the controlling area so then click OK ignore all these messages whatever the system is showing here so click OK so now I need to go again to the same controlling area 
assigned component. So here, I'm going to assign my company code 10, my company code 20. So now, um, data TR10 not maintained. So if you see, the system shows some error message requires assignment control requires that the currency physically variant chart of accounts all maintained in the company code at least one of these settings not maintained in tr10 complete the data maintenance in company code tr10 only then assign so there is some still some settings or missing so what should we do here is we need to maintain that data in the financial accounting so i'm going back to the financial accounting global settings ledger and and here define the currency types here Currencies for currency conversion, which is 20 here, using a, a no currency. And uh, what happened in, in the case? Actually, we don't have any global settings for the currency 30. So, So when you are in the ledger, you need to go to the ledger and uh, define settings. And what happened here is we only considered the currencies under the ledger. So the global level here at the company code, you can define the currencies as well. So here, if we see in the company code, uh, you, you may not see our company code, which is TR10 here. So the first step before going to the if you see okay i will explain here so when you go to the ledger here in our case what happens um you can see the leading ledger and uh, if you see the company code and uh, when you go to our company code which is tr10 yeah so tr10 and here you don't have any other currencies like a global currency in in, in here the reason behind uh, is that uh, there is a currency settings must be done at the global level uh, uh, about about uh, the company code yeah so here so i am going to include my company code tr10 so which is not here so i just go new entries so tr10 and uh, TR20 so currency type 30 and here also 30 so if you see here the conversion I always use my company code currency conversion and uh, I use uh, a normal exchange rate what we use is M okay M the translation uh, we always use the translation date so yeah so in this case click OK so what happened is is USD is my group currency here so my group currency is using uh, by the entity is is usd so um our our we have one is uh, actually the the what do you call the uh, at the entity level we are using a different currency so i should go with the usd uh, because my group currency defined as a usd here so um, in this case uh, let's go and check the settings now at the ledger level whether is there any changes happened since you have done these settings 
And uh, when you go here, the ledger, click OK, click OK, and so the still global currency is not populated. Maybe I need to go back and try again to see the ledger level. So let's go to the TR10. It's still not. Maybe I need to go inside and uh, see here my functional currency is uh, 10. So click OK. So I'll go back. My second function currency is thirty. This is thirty. So okay, sorry, I cannot use this. Maybe. So in the currency conversion settings, we already maintained um, the settings for the company code. The settings for the company code. So here we are converting from the source currency as a document currency to our uh, um, group currency. Yeah. So now after do this setting, I'm going back. To the controlling to maintain the controlling area with the assign the controlling area to the our company codes yeah so when you go to the assignment of company codes so you just click new entries tr1 tr10 and tr20 and press ok so now there's no error so i click on save Click OK. My group currency is USD and the controlling area currency is actually I set as a Euro and I have one company code currency is Euro another one is USD. So uh, let's see in the reporting point of view how uh, this is going to be shown by the system. So now we saved the settings relating to the controlling area. So after the controlling, now I'm, I'm going back uh, to the general controlling. Now I'm just going uh, high level. There is a profit center accounting. Go to the basic settings and set controlling area, which is our TR00 and uh, controlling area settings. Maintain the controlling area settings, which is a standard hierarchy for PR00 underscore PCH profit center standard hierarchy. So here I need to maintain uh, uh, the profit center currency, whether I should go with a profit center currency or a controlling area currency or a group currency. So um, you can you can define uh, the which currency uh, here for the controlling uh, profit center accounting. So you can have a different currency, but I use a, a group currency uh, for this purpose. So my uh, group currency is actually for the profit center accounting I use as a euro. So you see now I have taken as a 30. So now I'm trying to put uh, um, uh, different currency doesn't accept. So 
I just uh, leave it to the system as the same. So let's say now I go for a current controlling area, which is a 20, and uh, press OK. Now it is changing to uh, Euro, which is my controlling area currency. So in my case, uh, I would like to use a profit center currency as a same as my controlling area currency for the management reporting. And uh, yeah, so this is for the legal valuation um, or, or a group valuation or profit center valuation you can maintain. So all I put as a legal. So uh, I just put active indicator, click OK. And press enter back. So set uh, control parameters uh, for a uh, controlling area which is I just put uh, 2010 controlling area it says controlling area incomplete so we can't do these settings and there should be some other settings must be done regarding the plan version or actual versions so let's see now maintain the versions yeah so go to the version control area settings and uh, go to the physical year so you can see it's already set until 2025 and uh, here um, let's go to the profit center accounting click ok so the profit center accounting also set uh, with the correct uh, let me go back uh, to the original so now we go back now I go to the profit center accounting so now you can see so this is the reason you are not able to do the setting there so now I'm setting here 2010 so exchange right is use M value date 20, 2010 So you can double click to see in the detail or there is no detail here so physically a dependent versions for parameters so you can maintain uh, these I just put as a sample as this one and now I just put 2020 or 2021 so here uh, version locked no the line items I just select these boxes um, exchange rate type uh, I use as M so here 01012020 so here 01012021 so click OK click on save so I, I, I maintain this one but uh, actually we don't use uh, back period right so I just uh, <coughs> maintain the other versions also here so now click ok and go back to the previous screen so now set uh, control parameters click ok so now 2020 still it's incomplete so there is some additional settings must be done in the controlling area so I just so after we maintain all this information then uh, let's uh, go to the maintain controlling area the store transactional currency so here it's it's really doesn't matter here so if you really want to store the transactional currency which is system automatically do it okay so click ok so 2020 still there is some okay so let's uh, let's uh, go to the master data profit center accounting and define a hierarchy so we already defined the hierarchy okay so now go back
So actually what happened here is um, usually you need to create one profit center and uh, also there's a currency type and, and also the currency and the hierarchy. So these three are the key parts for a, you know uh, online transaction. So in this case what happens the dummy profit center is not created. So now we need to create the dummy profit center and uh, then let's see here create a dummy profit center tr00 tr pc01 and uh, it's PRPC zero one with center for PR zero zero. So now the profit center group, what should we give is a default and the segment uh, we can use the segments what we have created, which is TR. Let's see, TR. So let me type with the TR star maybe TR segment one. So here is the one we have created the segment. So I'm going to use the same segment to do that. And in the case of company codes, it's active for both the company codes. Now um, you click on save. So the person responsible and department also you can enter. Click on save. So now go back to the normal uh, set. Uh, sorry, uh, it's not set controlling area. Go back to the default settings for the controlling area. So now you can see. So the dummy cost center, profit center is already here and uh, uh, activated uh, for the controlling area. So now we need to activate uh, control parameters like online to zero to zero line item online transfer click okay so now there's no error because the basic settings when you are creating profit center accounting it's for sure every time you need to ensure these three parts one is a dummy another one is a standard hierarchy and the other one is a controlling a currency type for the controlling area so now we are done with the controlling uh, setup, which is a basic setup uh, relating to the controlling area. And uh, yeah, so after we do this setup and uh, let's uh, go back uh, to our ledger. So yeah, here. So we already assign uh, those uh, transactions. And here, uh, even we maintain the currency types also for our uh, ledgers. So now we have completed the basic settings which are all needed for a company code creation and also controlling area. And also the, the at, until the, the profit center level. Yeah. So now we need to go to the general ledger. So, which is a sub ledger, uh, which is a GL accounting for the SAP, and uh, here preparation and edit chart of account. So, we have created TR00 is our chart of accounts. Yeah. So now we have to go back, uh, assign chart of accounts to company code. Yeah. So we already done that, uh, which is uh, one zero. So TR00 we already done, yeah. So now what happened, we need to create a group. 
so in this case what I'm going to create there's so many or there so I'm not going to use any of these and uh, what I am going to use is uh, let me just quickly check I don't see anything standard is available here so um, I can't use this okay so regarding um, the chart of accounts I would like to uh, uh, create a INT chart TR00 is my chart of accounts and uh, TR TRPL and TR00 and TR um, asset TR00 and another one is TR liability so TR00 and liability and TR so I put cash maybe I'd go like this liability and asset asset and the expense so this is a PNL accounts asset liability and cash and cash equivalent cash and cash and like you pretty assets so here I put as a 10 character so I always uh, use as a uh, one zero to nine 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 so let me type one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yes so now I can create as a six digit or a ten digit account okay so click on save this is a wait accounts Um, and 
okay so this is a liquidity fund accounts maybe uh, liability you can say there's a liability click ok and then click save so now we created the account groups so now let's go with the retained earnings account your zero zero next one hundred two hundred click save and go back so now we need to assign the tax procedure to the company code so global settings tax and uh, if we go to the currencies and uh, ledger sorry so this should be under GL accounting business transaction uh, forward sorry um, financial accounting and uh, integration is actually not this yeah so here the document types so yeah is there we are going to use the same standard cross company is a co document type um, go back okay yeah this is actually on uh, tax on sales and purchases check assign uh, the tax procedure there is a DE tax D is there and uh, US tax US is there so now um, you need to check uh, after this you need to go to the calculation and uh, check the posting assign tax board GL account assign tax board for non-taxable so this is where we need to assign tax codes if it is not taxable here yeah. So here is actually the input tax. So input tax code V0 and uh, here also V0. And output tax code is actually uh, 0. Then uh, this also is 0. So we assign the not zero tax codes at a company code level so we have done all these settings now we need to come up with the numbering and also we need to come up with the controlling So, so the, in this in this video, actually, I showed you on how the company code and controlling area, profit center accounting, and the basic settings relating to the financial accounting can be done. And now we are going to uh, the document types, GL accounts, and also some postings. Yeah, thank you.